A special thanks to Auto2000 Suchi for allowing me to film their vehicles. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of the 2023 Toyota Fortuner 2.8 in the GR Sport trim shown exterior, engine and interior. The exterior colour is Attitude Black. Frame door handles, keyless entry standard. Black leather seats with the GR logo on the headrest, along with white stitching on the seats. It's very high to enter in this vehicle. Three spoke level up multifunctional steering wheel with white stitching on the inner rim, GR logo down below, and dark wood trim above. For transmission, the Fortuna comes with either 6-speed manual or 6-speed automatic. This has sport mode along with manual shifting mode via the gearbox or via the paddle shifters. When selecting reverse, there is 360 degree cameras, reversing camera, along with front and rear parking sensors as standard. Eco, normal and sport driving modes. The button to activate the traction control, mechanical handbrake which is level up with white stitching. Let's take a look at the exterior, turn on the headlights, the fog lamp, put the headlights on high beam. For the wheels, this has 18 inch dual tone multi-spur alloy wings, wrapped in, bridge stone, Duella HT 265-60 R18 tyres In 2004, Toyota developed a project called IMV, short for Innovative International Multipurpose Vehicle, which included three models, Fortuna, Hilux and Innova. The video topic here is Fortuna a medium body on frame SUV which replaced the Thai exclusive Hilux Sport Rider and also Hilux Surf in South America the Fortuna has spanned two generations the Fortuna is not only sold in poorer countries across Asia and South America also sold in Australia and Russia the second generation featured in this video was unveiled in July 2015 the sales began first in Thailand in the same time period. The Fortuna received a facelift for the 2021 model year which saw new headlights, new LED DRLs, new grille, new bumpers, new wheels, new LED rear lights, updates to interior and safety features and the introduction of a flagship Fortuna Legenda variant. The Fortuna AN150 is mainly based on the Hilux pickup truck and not to forget the Innova AN140. In January 2016, the Fortuna AN150 made its debut in Indonesia with three trims G, VRZ, and SRZ. The VRZ and SRZ came with the option of TRD Sportivo body kits in August 2017. The facelifted Fortuna range debuted in October 2020 with same trim levels. For the 2022 model year, the TRD Sportivo was formed into GR Sport and the SRZ trim gone. The current trim levels are G, VRZ and GR Sport. The official pricing starts at 548.6 million Indonesian rupees. Not to forget, the G trim only available on spot order with a minimum indent time of 3 months. For the design, I think the Toyota Fortuna is a true SUV and is manly in GR Sport. 
As expected from GR Sport Trim, there are a few GR Sport logos all round. For the front, there are automatic LED projector headlights and LED front fog lights with additional LED DRLs. The GR Sport features a sportier grille and front bumper all in black, along with dark chrome pieces. For the side, there are side running boards as you expect from a pickup based SUV, grey stickers, black roof rails, rear door window separation, GR Sport window visors and rear quarter windows which wrap around the back. Around the rear, there is a dark chrome Fortuna number plate housing connected to 3D LED rear lights. Also GR Sport features a black bumper spoiler. Ga ada banyak SUV ladder frame di Indonesia karena gak bisa adaptasi ke selamatan modern dan gak hamak bahan bakar namun ada Contra Talaris, ada la Toyota Fortuna dan kan lebih dari 270 ribu unit terjuasa ini Fortuna GR Sport bukan hanya untuk tampilan sebuah SUV bergona untuk membawa kelompok orang dalam kondisi Shu Acha Bawak Miss Banjir di Harak Khan Dari SUV Ladder Frame but are the Hargatingi For engines the Fortuna is available with three engines in Indonesia as of now from 2016 to 2021, engine choices include 2.4 diesel and 2.7 petrol. For the 2022 model year, the VRZ and GR Sport use a larger 2.8 diesel and 4x4 option reserved only for GR Sport. Under the bonnet is a 2.8 litre inline 4. 16 valve, dual overhead cam, turbocharged diesel engine. This engine is equipped with Commonwealth direct injection, variable nozzle turbocharging, a change drive, and intercooler. This engine produces 204 horsepower between 3000 to 4000 rpm and 499 Nm of torque between 1600 to 2800 rpm. All Fortuners come with an 80 letter fuel tank and this Fortuner is 4x2 means it is rear wheel drive. on top and bottom, soft touch in the middle. Four electric window controls, all of them all automatic in both directions up and down. Central locking. Window lock, mirror controls. This has power foldable side door mirrors. A decent sized door pocket down below including the cup holder. To the right of the steering wheel column, is the engine start stop button with the GR logo, cup holder storage which can be called. Down below is the parking sensors, front and rear parking sensors, the button to open the power tailgate, the button to deactivate the power tailgate, bonnet and fuel flap release, automatic transmission with dual pack doors, footrest, Fortuna floor mats, as well as Toyota door sills. The driver's seat has full 8-way power adjustments. The steering wheel has manual tilt and telescopic adjustment. Adjust it using lever down there. On the steering wheel, on the right spoke is to control the MID display. On the left spoke is the audio controls, volume, seat track, they will need the sources, hold it to mute the audio, voice control, Bluetooth, etc. or the prior core. The bottom right is the cruise control, 
type of shifters like I showed you before. The right store is the light indicator and fog light control. This has automatic headlights. The left store is the wipe controls. Analog blue dials along with a 4.2 inch MID TFT display which is controlled via the buttons on the right spoke. For the 2020 model year update, the Fortuna received dual zone automatic climate control for the front, temperature on each side, automatic, off, dual, AC, this button turns on the rear aircon with circulation, different zones, fan speed, front and rear defrost. Right above is the passenger airbag indicator. For infotainment, this has a 9 inch touchscreen, this contains various media options, smartphone connectivity, NFC for the e toll car checking and all the entertainment facilities. On the touchscreen, there is a USB input. I cannot demonstrate it because I don't have the key on me. Right above is a hazard light switch along with the iconic digital clock. Down below, a small bit of space storage, 12 volt power outlet, wireless charging slot there. Open this bit up to cup holders. Front centre arrow is made out of leather with white stitching. Open it up, is a huge size storage along with two remotes to control the rear entertainment system and the touchscreen up front. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, sunglass holder storage, LED front reading lights, front grip handles for both sides, driver side sun visor with a car holder, vanity mirror, To summarise this Toyota Fortuna's interior, the interior is well constructed with simple to use controls and provides a high driver's position to see over the bonnet, along with a few tech toys inside. These seats feel comfortable and smooth. On the dashboard, there are a mixture of soft touch, hard plastic and wood materials. Now let's check out the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. Decent sized door pocket for the rear doors. Isofix charge the anchor points on the rear seats. The rear seats do recline along with sliding. They do fold down, which I'm not going to do now. Fortune the floor mats there. Let's hop on it in. For rear seat space, I'm a short person, I've got plenty of leg room and plenty of head room. I believe tall people, six footers, will certainly be fine back in terms of second row rear seat space. Front seat back pockets on each side, along with a hook. A little bit of storage with a 12 volt power outlet, flat transmission floor, rear centre armrest with cup holders. Rear grip handles with hook on each side, ceiling air con vents, second row rear reading light which is LED powered, the rear climate control there, rear entertainment system for the second row passengers, as you can see, the USB slot there. Now let's check out the row we seat space. To gain access into the second row we seats, just locate this lever here. For third row we seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a small amount of leg room and for head room I've got a small amount of it. These third row rear seats may not be suitable for tall people or six footers. These are more suitable for younger children or smaller individuals. 
The third row we seats do recline using that lever. Exposed storage area on the right as well on the left. Rear grip handles for the third row along with ceiling mounted rear air con vents for the third row. Now let's check out the boot. Next seat. GR Sport comes with a power tailgate as standard with a hands-free kick activated feature where you wave your foot under the rear bumper if your hands full of heavy stuff. The boot is of a decent size with all three rows of seats in place, storage net divider. I'm not going to open this left part there, there's a power outlet on the left. A hook there on both sides. To fold down the third row we seats, grab the lever here, then put this lever there. Then attach this to here. Side winning balls. The front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side. Eight way powered adjustments. Fire extinguisher. Fortuna 4x2 variants come with three airbags as standard. Cup holder storage. Door glove box setup. The top glove box is wrapped in leather with white stitching. It is of a decent size, the top glove box. The bottom glove box is lockable, of a huge size. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, select subscribe. And don't forget to fully turn on the notification bell so you're alerted for an upcoming video.